Hello friends, Radhika Ravikumaya. So we'll see some of the directory related commands in this tutorial. So first uh, command is mkdir. mkdir is nothing but uh, it, it is like make directory uh, and uh, you can uh, say mkdir and give the uh, directory that you want to create. I say mkdir and I say test. A directory called uh, test is created here. The same way I can say mkdir um, test1 test2. So, in the same line you can give any number of directories names that you want. So, test1 and test2 is created and as well as uh, this is a way of creating um, directory and also you can say mkdir hyphen p and say demo slash test. So, in in my uh, desktop i do i don't have a directory called demo and as well as a uh, directory called test is not available so when you give hyphen p it means parent that that means it create all the parent dependencies okay now when i just enter when i execute this command it it automatically creates a directory called demo and as well as inside the demo it will create a uh, directory called test2 so you can see the demo is created here now let me go to go into demo and when I say this you can see the test directory is also created ok. So this is the way of creating uh, directories by making use of mkdir. Now uh, coming to a command called uh, so you, you saw the clear command the clear is nothing but used to clear your screen. Now cd, cd means uh, change directory. So for example, when I say cd, double dot means it it's double dot means it's a um, parent directory, single dot is current directory, and when I say till, it means the home directory. So, my present working directory is uh, slash home slash oracle. So slash desktop. When I say cd and when I give double dot it will be moving to the parent directory that is demos parent directory is desktop. So, it will be moving to the parent directory when I give double dot. So, you can see I have been uh, the directory is changed to desktop. So, now again I will uh, go back to demo itself. pwd is nothing but the present working directory it will show the path where exactly you are uh, present. Okay. So, here now you can see the same thing slash oracle slash home slash oracle desktop and demo. Now when I say cd and when I give the tilt command tilt uh, symbol it means it will move to your home directory. My home directory is nothing but slash home slash oracle. So when I give tilt it should move to the slash home slash oracle. Okay. You can see now if I say pwd you can see it is in the slash home slash oracle. So, this is the way how you can make use of uh, change directory. Then uh, so here when I say clear it will clear the screen. Then another one command is called as ls. ls is nothing but is used to list out the uh, files the contents in your present working directory. So, when I this is just um, normal way of uh, you know displaying the file when I say ls hyphen l it means long listing of the files that is it gives the details uh, of the file and it will also give the details of the permissions that are available on that file and it will even mention whether the file is a directory or a normal file and all. So, you can see the permissions that are available and uh, you can see here the uh, when it was created and who is the user who created it. No, and um, it's also showing the size of the file. When you see this beginning of the permission, when it is D, it means it's a directory. So Apex is nothing but it's a directory. When you see just hyphen, it means it's a normal file. And also sometimes it will be B or will C, alphabet B or alphabet C. It means it's a block file. C means it's a character file. So based on the first uh, character, you can make out whether it's a directory or what kind of file it is. So this is one and. Uh, Another uh, way of uh, listing, if you want to list out the directories um, uh, according to the time, the latest uh, you want to get the di uh, files or the directories which is created latest, then just say L T. T means it will arrange the arrange the 
files according to the time in the descending order ok you can see this started from June then May 28 February it is in the descending order when you give hyphen lt even you can uh, reverse this order also by just saying ls hyphen ltr r means reverse that means it will arrange in the ascending order so you can see the June and all where it gone down jo June May March so this is how you can uh, use uh, your ls command and uh, there is another uh, thing also like uh, when you simply say ls uh, or ha or else ls hyphen l it will list out all the directories and files but it will not list out your hidden files or directories if you want to uh, display your hidden files then you need to mention an alphabet called a and then l is fine so it will list out all the um, hidden files also when you, you can see this dot dot something um, file name these dot files are nothing but are hidden files ok so um, this is how you can uh, make use of these normal uh, mkdir cd command and ls commands and all hope this tutorial was helpful uh, if there are any queries then please do mail me and uh, thank you very much for watching